Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will cover a new Python library called Polars. The best way to understand Polars is that it is a robust data frame library. It improves upon the existing pandas library. It has a powerful expression syntax for joining, merging, and filtering data. It is a multi-threaded library written in Rust. Therefore, it can run tasks in parallel. Here are some advantages of Polars. Polars does not use an index for the data frame. Eliminating the index makes it much easier to manipulate the data frame. Polars represent data internally using Apache Arrow. Apache Arrow is much more efficient in areas like load time, memory usage, and computation. Polar supports parallel operations. It can run many tasks in parallel. Polar supports two APIs, eager and lazy. Based on our query, Polars will examine the queries, optimize them, and look for ways to accelerate the query to reduce memory usage. The eager evaluation, which immediately evaluates an expression and runs your query as soon as it encounters it. Let's take a look at a few applications of this library. It is integrated with Rust visualization library called Plotters. Using it, we can create interactive dashboards and beautiful visualizations. Due to its support for parallel processing and lazy evaluation, Polars can handle large data sets effectively. Various data processing tasks can also be performed, data cleaning, transformation, and other data manipulation tasks. With Polars, we can analyze large data set to gather meaningful insights and deliver them. It provides us with various functions for calculations and computing statistics. Let's see Polars in action with some code. We'll use Jupyter Notebook as our IDE. Polars can be installed using a pip command, pip install Polars. After a successful install, we can import this library into our code. Polar's library provides various methods to load data from multiple sources. Let's take a look at an example of loading CSV file. It is identical to pandas, but instead of pd, we'll use pl to read the CSV and display the content of the data frame. We can print the summary statistic of the data, such as count, mean, min, max, etc., using the describe method. Similar to pandas, shape method returns the shape of the data frame, meaning the total number of rows and the total number of columns in our data frame. The select function applies a selection expression over column. We can select a single or multiple column using this. We can also use a select to select a column and sort it by a different column. Similarly, the filter function allows us to filter rows based on a certain condition such as equality operation, or we can use between to search for rows between a range. If we need to, we can group data based on specific column using the group by function. Let's look at the lazy evaluation. This is optimal for query optimization. So we'll load the same data. Instead of using the regular eager API, we'll use the lazy and we'll use the scan function. When working with external data, we traditionally read all of the data into memory prior to analyzing it. With Polar's lazy API, we can minimize the amount of data we read into memory. We only read and process what's necessary. This allows Polar's to optimize both memory usage and computation time. Let's reread our CSV file, this time around with the lazy API. We are only selecting four columns and we have a filter in place to read rows for the US. Let's look at the query execution plan without the optimization. This is how the eager API would read this data. As we can see, we are reading the entire data set into memory. This data set has 21 columns. Once the data is loaded, we filter this by the country and then select four columns. This query can certainly be optimized. Let's see how the lazy API would optimize this query. We'll set the optimize flag to true. Our country filter is pushed down while we read the file. And we only select five columns, four for analysis and fifth one for the filtering. This is great. 
This way we only read in data necessary into memory for analysis. As I mentioned, the lazy API does not execute the query. We need to call the collect method on it in order to execute the query. Now we can preview the data that is loaded into a data frame. And as you can see, we do not have an index in this data frame. So this is a quick overview of the Polar's library. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.